All right, this time, this time I'm gonna finally get to do the full combo. For sure, CS, yes, I knew it. I just knew I would get the coin. I, I just knew I would get the coin flip, man. All right, that hand was almost bad. Luckily, Royal Penguin's Garden has saved us. and has saved us. So, Royal Penguin's Garden, hopefully they don't have the ash. We're gonna add ourselves, uh, probably just go for a Glacial Beast. Po Actually, arguably, yeah, we just go with this and we just add the uh, Cleric to hand instead. We'll do that. We will do that. All right. Now we can activate the Royal Penguin's Garden to lower the level of our uh, Great Emperor Penguin, which summons two penguins from deck. It's absolutely broken. And we can discard one of our two squires here. We only need one. Uh, and that's going to be for later. Just in the grind game, it's going to be useful. But uh, yeah, Great Emperor Penguin, super broken. Just tribute itself, summon two penguins from deck. Absolutely insane card. Uh, and I guess we can summon... Um, no penguin can be kind of an issue, actually. We're going to summon... Uh, puny penguin instead yep yep puny yep puny look at this cutie oh my god so cute so cute so we're gonna make ourselves a Halka Fibrax here as soon as you can get to Halka Fibrax you've pretty much got your combo going for penguins and the combo is pretty insane I mean I've already started talking to you about it earlier you know we got to get our despot etc etc get the Aurora Dawn that stuff is all lame. You're used to hearing that stuff all the time, but trust me, it goes somewhere. It goes somewhere incredible, somewhere magical. It goes to Penguin Land, and it has some extra negates on top to make sure that your opponent feels the full wrath of your Penguin Brave. So, Mega Phantom Beast Aurora Dawn. We're going to get ourselves our super slow animation of three tokens getting summoned. That could be like 20 times faster. So, one, and two... And three of them things. Shout out DP Yu-Gi-Oh. Let's summon our Despot one from the grave. All right. Thanks for asking, by the way, uh, Crossout. I love that you're asking me every single moment if I want to activate you. That is one of my favorite things about you. One of my favorite things about you, for sure. For sure. Bar none. Bar none. All right. Summon the Cupid Pitch, just like that. Cupid Pitch. Nice, 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 nice. And uh, increase the level of the monster to level 5. Now we activate the effect of Mega Phantom Beast Aurora Dawn. Tributing two tokens here. One, two. And we're going to summon the Colt Wing from the deck. Colt Wing will give us two tokens. So that is a... Whoop, start. Stop asking me, bro. Please stop asking me. I'm begging. All right. One and a two. And uh, obviously we get to special summon the Despot 1 once again from the grave. So we will do that. We will do that. Perfect. Now we make ourselves a Borlode Savage Dragon using Cupid Pitch as well as one of our tokens. Perfect. There we go. Boom. Cupid Pitch effect. Savage effect. Savage is going to equip the Halk of Fibrax in the grave. Halk of Fibrax. Yep. Yep, Halky. And here's the cool thing. Cupid Pitch is going to search us our Creation Resonator, right? So add that Creation Resonator to my hand. Yep. We can make ourselves using the Despot 1 and our level 7 Mega Phantom Beast Colt Wing. So you do have to do this before summoning your creation token. Uh, I mean your creation resonator. You have to make yourselves a dragite. Or really any uh, level 8 synchro of your preference. But we're going to make a dragite here. So dragite baby. Nice, nice, nice. Stick into the water theme, you know. That's why we like it. That is why we like it. Then creation resonator can special summon itself. Because we control a... Well, we actually control two level 8 or higher uh, synchros. And uh, we have a level 3 tuner. And a level 3 token, we can make ourselves a Penguin Brave. Boom, boom. Using these two, thank you very much. Thank you very much. There we go. Penguin Brave to the field. Activate its effect. And special summon ourselves a Penguin Soldier in face down defense position. There we go. So that's the board, baby. That's the board. And we could even extend with a Penguin Squire. That's insane. Uh, I don't know if there's really anything we want to do with that. However, I really don't think so. So uh, we're just we're just not gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna keep that in hand for later. 
set our cross out designator in case it comes up somehow and pass our turn. So let's see how our opponent is feeling about this incredible board. We have one Omni Negate, one Spell and Trap Negate, and a quick effect flip Penguin Soldier bounce two cards. Pretty insane stuff if I do say so myself. So opponent is thinking here, thinking, yep, Lightning Storm. That is a Lightning Storm, but we do have a Water in the Grave. So we will get to activate our Dragite and negate the Lightning Storm. We negate. Negate. Uh, they seem to be thinking there, but it seems like they're not chaining anything. So no Lightning Storm for you. No Lightning Storm for you. What could they possibly have up their sleeve to not surrender in the face of a Penguin Brave? Sign at Mining, huh? That's a pretty big minus. I'm guessing they're playing, um, they're probably playing Marincess. Uh, we're gonna have to activate Savage here, sadly. Uh, it's just like, because it's a minus two for them if we uh, negate the Sign at Mining. So we just kind of have to negate it. We just kind of have to. We kind of have to. Oh, Math Max, I see. Uh, yeah, okay, so, and the target targeted monster loses 1,000 attack. That's fine. That's completely fine. Uh, you can only use this effect. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's fine. So, it special summons itself from hand. You can only use its effect once per turn. That's fine. Okay, okay, okay. When this card is normal summon, you can target one level 4 Cybers in your grave. Special summon it, but it cannot activate its effects. You can do something. So they're going to use the two material effect of Prime Math Mech Alimbertion to search a Math Mech from deck. I'm not super familiar with Math Mechs. I'm like trying to use this at the right time. I don't want to use it preemptively. I know they have good graveyard effects on some of them. Okay, this that's pretty scary. Alright, that's fine. Yep. Alimbertion effect. You've already normal summoned. So what's, what's the next move here? Uh, come on, buddy. Okay, what's this one? You can trigger one Cybers monster, spell summon one Math Mech monster from your deck. Oh, if this card is sent to the grave, you can target one Cybers monster you control. In the extra monster zone, you can attack two times. Okay, okay. So this Math Mech, target one Math Mech in your grave, spell summon it, and if you do, it gains 1,000 attack up to the end of this turn. Damn, okay. That's pretty crazy. Okay. Oh, shit, that's a monster negate. And then what's the other effect here? Oh, you can tri tribute one monster, special summon one level four monster, uh, math make monster from your hand or graveyard. Okay, okay, okay. So from here, we will probably need to activate our penguin brave pretty soon. Yeah. Okay, this is the time. This is the time. This is the one. This is when we do it. Now they're out of resources. They, they, we have won the game from here. It took me a while to figure out the perfect moment to really flip this penguin, but I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty damn confident that I have a good grasp on what they're doing here and that they don't have a response to this. Yep. So they get their summon and then we bounce both of these. Yes. Both of these get bounced and we just win the game just like that. Penguins are absolutely insane. Okay, trust me. Just trust me. Look at look at what I just did. Okay. Look what they just—they had like 20 extenders, 20 extenders, but they just couldn't. They couldn't win in the face of a penguin brave and a face down penguin soldier. It's an absolutely incredible deck, so fun to play, so amazing, and uh, I truly found a way to actually break the deck. You know, like last time, it was really broken, but just because of the penguin cards. But this time, it's absolutely unbeatable, thanks to me, Misplay Central. Yours truly. And uh, I hope you guys try out the deck. I hope I hope you like the deck. Let me just go through the card by card real quick. We got Bolt Penguin yet again. Puny Penguin yet again. Penguin Soldier. Uh, Despot 001. We got the Maxi, the Ash, and uh, the Infinite Impermanence. That's just our package for the uh, Cross Out Designator. We got two Note Penguins. Super important card. Creation Resonators. The one you search off of your Cupid Pitch. You got two Psychic Wielder. Just a great extender to get a tuner on the field. We just need a tuner on the field and two monsters so that we can make ourselves a Halka Firebacks and go full combo. Nutty shit, you know? 
We got Glacial Beast Polar Penguin. This card's absolutely amazing. If you can special summon it uh, like on turn two using the Great Emperor Penguin, and when this card is special summoned, uh, you can target one card your opponent controls and just bounce it. Uh, so, you know, pretty broken. We got a Penguin Cleric here. Uh, this one's like your hand trap. It, uh, if your monster, like your penguin, is destroyed by battle card effect, uh, it's end of the grave. You can special summon it back in a phase down defense position. So pretty nice. If they attack into your penguin soldier, you bounce two. Then uh, you special summon it back from the grave. And next turn, you can bounce another two. So you don't run more than one, but it's a good card. You got Mega Phantom Beast Cold Wing. Uh, this is a card you summon off of Aurorodon, as you've seen already. Two Great Emperor Penguins. This is one of the best cards in the deck. Summons two penguins. Absolutely amazing. Got the Ice J Tremora. This, I don't know how many run of this. She's a real cutie, by the way. But uh, I don't know how many to run of this. Like, it's just, it's pretty good, though. Like, sometimes you draw it, you discard it to special summon a water from your hand. And uh, it's really useful, especially, like, when you have uh, when you have the Ice J Tremora with the Great Emperor Penguin. It's pretty nice to have. But, uh, you know, sometimes it's bricky, too. So I don't, I'm not too sure how many to run or what's the right ratio. But uh, I like the card, though. It's, it's definitely cool. Worth running. We got three penguin squire this is one of the best cards in the deck special summons itself when you set a monster and then you can flip that monster face up and go straight into your halk combo we got three unexpected die to summon a normal monster from our deck one of the best cards in the game bolt penguin you already know what it is uh, we got two fury of kairiushin to search our one of torrential tribute we've got three pot of prosperity three royal penguins garden uh, two, 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 called by the grave, two, cross out designator, and our imperm, like I said earlier. For the extra deck, we've got Cupid Pitch. This card is just amazing in this deck. We've got two, Penguin Brave, best card in the game. Boral Old Savage Dragon is just a cool Omni Negate, big beater, useful ass card uh risen dragite you might be playing this already in your sword soul deck so why not throw it into your top tier meta threat tier zero penguin deck bro you just gotta do it you just gotta do it to him we're playing the bar on the floor this is because if you draw the colt wing if you draw the colt wing you can't really go full combo with your aurorodon thing because aurorodon only summons from the deck so instead you'll just use all uh, your three level three tokens and your despot one and go straight into baron de fleur which is a nice powerful omni negate you know so you can't complain can't complain and uh yeah we've got the link spider i don't know why i'm playing this please find something to replace this with i'm playing mr Our boy please find something to replace this with crystal hawk of fiber axe best card in the game uh, nightmare phoenix super useful i highly recommend running this from time to time it comes up and it's just a good card to have around uh anemone sometimes comes up very rarely but it does come up sometimes where you want a special summoning monster from your graveyard uh, we've got the ip mascarena nightmare unicorn combo also comes up sometimes got the access code talker which uh, usually if you end up going to through this like nightmare unicorn line you'll probably be summoning access code talker at the end to just close it off and uh, we've got the Auroradon, obviously, because that's just a big value generating beast of a card, Auroradon, right? But uh, yeah, that's a deck, man. It's it's fucking sick. It's just sick. It's Penguins, dude. Peng best deck. You already know what it is, man. But thank you for watching the video. Huge shout out to my UCT tier members. That would be Bongerman420 and Raptor Rapture. Also, huge shout out to all the baby tier members, all the people supporting over on Twitch. Just everyone supporting the channel in general. Even you viewers who comment, like, share, subscribe, do all that stuff. Thank you so much for the love. I love you guys. You guys are epic. And, uh, you know, just have a good one. Peace.